Hi, I'm Rob, and we're going to look at find row count and paged list queries. So find row count, what it does is it takes a copy of the query uh, with expressions and bind values, and then it optimizes that for row count. So it removes the fetch clause, order by clause, and max rows, first rows. And then there's two cases of uh, count star queries that it produces, a simple case, and then a more interesting case when there's a many predicate involved. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, some example here. So here I've got a, uh, a query for orders where the order date is after uh, October. Uh, max rows 10, order by customer name descending, um, and also fetch the customers along with the order. So uh, when we do the find row count query here, uh, it will take the where clause if you like, but it will ignore the max rows, the order by clause, and the fetch. Okay, so if we run this, um, I should say there's going to be two queries, the find row count and then we go query find list. So let's have a look at those. <clears throat> so we've got two queries here. The first one is our select count star from order where the order date is greater than a value. So that's nice and simple. And then we have our our actual find list query which is selecting uh, the order properties um, and then we've got uh, customer properties or columns uh, from order join customer uh, where the order dates greater than order by limit 10 okay so if we just go back to that so we've we've created our query we've said find row count ebean internally optimizes that query uh, a copy of that query for executing find row count removing the bits that it doesn't need and then we can use that to um, to also execute a find list afterwards so uh, and that's what we're doing and that's all good now the case that i want to show you next is this if we do a join here so we're doing a join to a many to one and the effect of this is that it, it really doesn't matter. Um, let's just run that. So we're doing a join to a many to one. So there's um, many orders for one customer. So this is, um, if we have a look at the SQL that's generated here, uh, select count star from order, join customer, and then where. Uh, order date is greater than and the customer registered is greater than okay so that, that's still a pretty simple uh, select count star from query there's nothing tricky about that and that's because the cardinality to the customer is a many to one so if it's a many to one or a one to one uh, that doesn't affect the select count star it's still the simple case okay now if we go back here we add another predicate. So this predicate is a one to many. So there's many details for one order. So this predicate is saying um, we're finding the orders that have that included an, uh, a detail line for product uh, 8950. Okay, so we're restricting the orders to orders that actually included an order for that product. Um, so uh, if we just scroll up now down here, so at this stage, we've been getting 123,000 total row count. We'll probably get less now. Okay, so, uh, and the main thing to notice here is that this is a join to a many, and specifically a one to many in this case. But a uh, many to many would also fall into this case. So if we execute that and have a look at the SQL. So now we've got a select count star from and then a select distinct ID. So this is the interesting interesting case. I'm going to have a look. Actually, this is it here. So we've got a select count star from this query. And this query is now a select distinct order IDs. So we're seeing select distinct order IDs from here. And that's because this join is to a, a join to a many. And eBean knows this 
and so it knows ah joined to a many I have to actually select as distinct IDs or order IDs for this and then wrap that with a select select count star okay so that's the uh, the case where um, when they're doing a join uh, so we're doing a part of our where clause has a predicate to a one to many or a many to many okay so let's go back to uh, our slide here find row count so it takes a copy of the query so that it um, we can use this query multiple times so find list and find row count so internally ebin takes a copy uh, with the expressions and bind values removes bits that it doesn't need fetch clauses and such and then we'll either produce a select count star or a select count star wrapped on a select distinct ID for that many predicate case okay page list so page list is really just a find list combined with a find row count or more specifically a find future row count so this gives us the ability to do background fetching for the total row count um, and it's also nice for Elasticsearch so let's have a look at what that means so here I've got a query and I'm going find row count and I'm going find list and if we looked at um, uh, what that looks like and means uh, it means that we're executing the find count and then we're executing this second query which is our find list and that's happening one after the other happening serially and what we can do is we can actually do that in, in parallel so instead of doing find row count let's go find future row count okay and this is going to give us a future uh, now let's execute the find list and then with our future we will do a get and we will get the row count okay so what's happening here is that uh, internally eBean is going I'm gonna get a future here which will kick, kick off this query in a background thread the foreground thread then find, uh, executes find list and then we foreground thread waits for the future row count to finish so these two queries can happen in parallel so let's run that okay so here we've got the actual thread main thread and then we've got this other thread here <clears throat> so if we look at that uh, that thread there it's doing the row count query so we've got this other query here which is um, sort of interleaved we've got a little bit up here and a little bit down here so these two queries the um, the find list and the find row count are occurring in parallel with two different threads okay um, so that's good okay now we can do this and that's fine and and effectively what I'll show you next is that page list is just a, a slightly different way or a sl hopefully nicer way of doing this exact same thing so if we go query find page list we get a page list and with the page list what we usually hopefully do is go load row count so what that's doing is is saying get me a find future and start the uh, row count query in the background now I can go page list uh, get list and that's getting me the the orders, orders. <clears throat> and then I can get the total row count and we'll just call it row count <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> so before this is what we had before we're going find future and then going find list and then waiting for the future to complete and this is doing the same thing we're sort of saying kick the find the row count future off uh, get us the list and now let's wait for the row count if it hasn't already com been completed so this replaces this if we get rid of that we now have the same thing so find page list 
load the row count in the background, execute the normal find list, and then let's wait for that background thread to finish the total row count. Okay, so um, we'll actually see the <coughs> same same thing going on here. So we've got our background thread. It's a little bit interleaved with our main thread here, executing that count query, and our other other threads uh, executing the select distinct. Um, that's doing our our fetch. Okay, our find list query. All right. So uh, that's the only trick. If we don't do this, all right? Then this is going to become serial. It's going to become find list, find row count. Okay. So uh, explain that. Let's run that. So here we go. Uh, one after the other. We've got uh, no interleaving between the two threads. We've just got one main thread, and that's doing our find list followed by our find count. Okay. So. Yeah, generally the idea is with um, uh, page list that we, we go load row count so that they, the row count query can be executed in parallel. Um, if that row count query is you know relatively expensive, that's quite a good thing to do. Okay, so page list. Really it's just a, a, a wrapper or a, if you like, a, a nicer way of doing find list plus find future row count. And uh, so it's executing the, the total row count query in the background. Um, it also happens that if we if we do a far, uh, elastic search query, then that gets the total row count and the list at the same response. So it's also a nice um, way to represent the elastic search result. So that's it. Thank you. All.